Hi friends, we will be looking at some crucial things you need to do before you carry out your foundation design of any of your structure you have more than analyzed and designed in Prota structure. You have to consider the following before you carry out your foundation design. Once again, you are welcome to these presentations. And so, I want to ask you to like the lesson. Before we proceed to the lesson properly, hit on the red subscribe button to get subscribed and stay tuned if you have not subscribed to this channel. And so the first thing you need to do is to check the statute of the stru structure, the statute of the vertical member as well as the horizontal member, the beams and the columns, as well as the statute of the slab successfully. Then you have to ensure that the structural members pass the analysis as well as the design. All right, most, most, most especially the columns because the columns carry the load to the foundation. So before you do your foundation design, you must ensure that the columns passed analysis. So at first, we'll be looking at the statute of the structure. For you to be able to view the statute of the structure, you go to the display tab right there. In the display tab, you just have to select visual interrogations. In the visual interrogations uh, uh, dialog, you have to scroll down and then you uh, you see uh, design statute. You select that design statute, click on the OK. All right. So you can see the design statute and the key interpretation, red meaning fair, uh, yellow warning, and the rest of it green is okay. For some part of the structure green, as you can see some part of the structure uh, red, the columns, all right, meaning all is not fine with the structure. Okay, so we will have to go back to visual interrogation dialog, navigate to none, select that, click on okay, to get rid of that. And so we are going to be checking the columns now. When you want to check a columns in your structure, majorly in a two-story, three-story, uh, structure you have to start from the foundation to check your column all right so right away we'll navigate to the uh, story one okay which is the first floor story that connects to the foundations all right and then we'll be checking the columns yeah we have to expand this column you can see a good numbers of these columns are failing all right so if you click on the color right click we will go by active story all right the difference between active story and then and ROC columns slash wall design is be is active story give you all the columns that are in that particular story level while the uh, second option this one is has to do with the whole of this uh, column in the structure all right so we uh, select this one okay so in the dialog you can see so many of these uh, columns let me expand that as uh, actually fair design like this one if i check this now and then click on interactive design in the interactive design dialog i try to interact the design you can see one in right there still members Steel bars cannot be selected. Section size is insufficient. All right. So this column is actually failing. So we could have been able to edit it one by one, but that will actually key time. And so we are going to be uh, doing it in a way that is, we are going to edit all at once. All right. And so I will have to close this. After which I will uh, we navigate to uh, these provisions. Select the first column right there, and all the uh, shift keys. Select the last columns. Okay. So you get all the columns. At that particular uh, floor selected successfully after which you just have to right click click on it property so in the property dialog these are the sections of these columns you have two to five by two to five so we want to be changing these sections to uh b1 we change it to 250. we just have to increase and this will, will nullify the analysis this will nullify the analysis but don't mind we are going to make the changes maybe we will launch the analysis again click on yes and then impute the uh impute the 250 sections in the B1 directions, click on OK. You give it some few seconds to make the changes. Just it's effective now. For B2, we'll be using 300. So it's going to be column sections uh, uh, 250 by 300. Okay. Just like this. All right. After which, click on Close. So once you click on Close, you will notice that uh, even the column that has passed as is now showing a warning statute. This is a warning statute. Nullified analysis statute. All right. So all we need to do is we will navigate back to the provisions, okay? In this uh, columns, uh, first floor columns uh, uh, dialog, the analysis uh, is also alerting us that it's been nullified. Click on the OK options to get the dialog for the properties of these columns. So since we've changed the sections successfully, just like this, what we need to do is we carry out the bash mode column design, all right? So we use this option, reselect all bars, then click on calculate.
Okay, click on the close options. So you see all the columns now as past design. No one is failing anymore. Just like this. But the uh the analysis, the nullify analysis warning is still showing at the design statute. You can see the statute is showing some red color, meaning the analysis is nullified. But we will check that out later. So you just have to close this dialog. Okay, so if you notice the column is still having a failure sign, which is this uh, bad sign, right? Failure sign here, but you can just refresh this to get this sign off. Right, so just click on this refresh. So now, if you go and expand the column provisions, now you will not see the uh, failure sign again, just like this. But it's having a warning nullify analysis uh, statute, just like this. Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, we will navigate to the second story. Right, so we need to check the columns at the second stories. The same thing will be applicable to this. If you expand this, you notice uh, majority of the columns are still failing. For ease of construction, we'll be using the column of the same section. Uh, from the foundations to the first floor, maybe that of the upper floors, so it may be uh, different sections. Okay, so what we need to do, uh, we will click on this, right click, and then uh, we select the first one just as we did previously. Hold the uh, shift key with the last one, check the property of the column for the B1. We actually use 250, so you have to type 250 on the keyboard. Click on OK, give it some seconds to make the changes successfully, just like this. For B2, you activate that and then you will input in 300 uh, millimeter okay so for some time to make the changes just like this after which you close this okay you navigate back to the column click on it and then uh, active story roc design analysis result not up to date we are aware of this the program is trying to uh, give us some warning all right so you activate expand this and then carry out bash mode column design select all bars and then click on calculate and give the program some few seconds to calculate and then design the column successfully for us. Click on the close options so you can see all the columns now as past design. It is only showing the nullify analysis statute. Close this dialog right away and then for we have to refresh okay to get rid of the uh, failure uh, uh, statute all right so if we activate this now you see the failure statute is off but uh, the warning statute is also there go to the story tree and the story tree expand the column to check you will notice almost all the columns as past design okay so we may not necessarily make changes to the sections of this column because the columns are not carrying any load any longer all right so for this particular one this one is failing so we can just check that one only so click on it property sorry not the property sorry the column section design section design this one I click on the yes options this is the succession design okay it is even uh, 300 by 250 all right so you just have to click on uh, design so you see uh, it's, uh the ratio the ratio exceeded click on okay options now we have to interchange this by bringing uh, for bringing uh, the 250 uh to this side to this side bring 250 to this side just like this and then this provisions you have 300 click on update and then try to interact again so it is it's still exceeding so we will have to leave that until we run the analysis all together then we'll now check that out all right so click on ok it's already the column that is failing right there okay so we will go straight away to the next floor level uh the end floor level at the pen floor level check the columns you notice none of the columns are failing at this floor all right, so what we now need to do is, since we have increased the section of these columns, we have to increase the sections of these beams, okay? The foundation beam, all right? So what we need to do is, we will go straight away to the uh, level zero, where we have the foundation, expand the beams, select the first beam, or the uh, shift key, select the last one, right click, then click on each property, all right? So in the section we have in 225, we change it to 250. All right, so you have 250 just like this sorry just like this click on the ok option so for some time for the changes okay so they made all right just like this after which for the depth of the foundation is still 1.3 meters so click on the close options all right so we have successfully uh, checked the columns and the column has passed uh, analysis as well as design but uh, we will have to reanalyze because the previous analysis we did has been nullified because of the changes we have made to the structures all right so we will straight away save the project first click on the save right there give the project some seconds to save successfully just like this and then go to the analysis tab okay building analysis click right there 
All right, so if you now navigate through the way all of these settings have been done in the last lesson, okay? So if I should click uh, at the end of this lesson, you will see uh, uh, you will see in the descriptions of uh, the previous lessons, maybe at the left or the right end of this uh, lesson. So you can follow that lesson uh, successfully. Click on the analysis tab, and then it goes through the way to building analysis. Click right there. We are designing, analyzing and designing columns and beam without still members in the structure. So we don't need to uh, select this, click on building analysis. And then give the program some time to carry out analysis and design successfully. Alright, so the building analysis is completed successfully. This uh, relative story draft in both directions is, uh, is satisfied the limit successfully. Click on OK options and then you uh, click on close options. And this will transfer to the analytic model. Alright, so. We are almost there. The analysis can model close these options right away. So this is the analytic model. You can also activate the displacement, all right? And then you can proceed to check the uh, moment, okay? Diagrams, M3, right there to check and bind the moment as well as we have shaft force uh, V2, right? Just like this, okay? So we proceed. We will leave these provisions, okay, to the structure. Now analysis is done. We have to recheck the. Uh, the changes that we've made for the columns, all right. Navigate to the story one, okay. Span the columns, all right. You see, majority of the column has passed, all it's two is having a failure sign. So, you can just let that right click and then click on the section design. You just have to update, run the entire uh, design to update that. This is 60 25 rebar selected. Click on the OK options and then OK right there, all right. You, you may not necessarily see the changes, but let's make changes to this one as well before we refresh, all right. Click on the section uh, design. All right, interactive design right there. Okay, it's okay. Options, okay. Options again. So it's only that two that has been failing. So just have to now uh, select this uh, uh, refresh display. Okay. So the refreshment is done. Expand it again. You will not see that failure sign again. All right. So all the columns are the foundations level from the foundation to the first floor level as past analysis and as well as design successfully. Okay. You minimize that, navigate to the story too, and then expand the columns also to check uh, the statute of the columns. All right, we have three of these. Select the first one, right click, and then you can uh, click on the uh, sections uh, design. All right, this is 250 by 300. Okay, carry out the interactive design. All right, see this as past design. Click on the OK options and OK. All right, check this out again. Right click and then click on the sections design. Okay, interactive design. All right, this one has also passed uh, analysis and design as well. Okay, for this one, select that, right click, and then section design, interactive design. All right, there's no issue with this. Rebus is selected successfully. Okay, options. So then the last one, right click, and then you will have to click on the uh, section design, and then you direct that. All right, so we are having this the ratio limit exceeded. Okay. So what we need to do is just to increase the sections and the paper design. You increase the sections, paper design. But you can increase the section if you have not increased the same column at the, uh, the first floor. Because this is the second floor, all right? So you have to take note of this particular column. So we can increase the sections accordingly. It is C215, uh, all right? So we have to refresh this first. After I refresh, uh, go back and check the columns. You will notice all has passed except this uh, 2C15 that is failing. All right, so we will navigate to the next floor which is the story tree expand the column as well it's just few of this is passing uh, it's also failing this uh, c3 uh 3c15 the same column that was failing at the second floor so let's check that out at this floor and see what happens all right so uh if you, you see the column is not designed at all so uh, we we'll click on the interactive design and check that out you have selected a 60 uh 25 uh, reinforcement click on okay options Okay, options. It is being designed here. Then for this one, the same process. All right. Interactive design. Okay, you have that design successfully. Click on the okay options, and then you refresh. So once you refresh, you go back and check it again. All has been what designed successfully at this story tree. Then the paint floor, we navigate there story four, and then opens and check the columns. There is no issue with the columns here. All right. Then for the color that is failing at this story two. Uh, check that it said it is 2c15 all right so navigate to the story one and check two uh check uh, two one c15 this one this is the column so right click and then click on the sections of that columns all right okay uh so we turn it we turn it upside down this is 250 and this is 300 b1 is 250 and then the b2 is um b2 is um 
300, all right? Let's take note of, note of that. Then navigate to the story uh, 2, sorry, story 3 to, okay, story 2 to check that out. So expand this and then check the way the sections is being arranged. 250, 300, so this is the same thing, nothing changes. Let's change it to 300 and check if it will actually pass design. Let's and, uh, update that, turn up the design, so this is for uh, 40, 25, so this has passed design successfully. 300 by 300 that column, so we will refresh this to get that done. Since the sections have been changed in the uh, second floor, we have to change the, change the, color, uh, the section as well at the uh, first floor, okay? So 1C15 is the column, this one, right click. And then click on each property, right? And then we use this place to be 300, okay? Just as it is in the second floor, update that. And then uh, interactive design, you see, 40, 20, right? Click on OK. And then click on OK. Now all the columns has passed design successfully. If you should navigate to the, okay, before then, let us confirm the beams. Uh, the beams right there, all of these beams has passed design at the first floor. So I guess all the beams in the structures must have passed design successfully. So all the structural members as part of I said the beam at the foundation level, the foundation beam. We have not designed that because we have to design the foundation using final element analysis, after which we transfer the load to the beams to design the beam successfully. All right. So uh, we have to check the other structural members which we have done successfully before we go into the foundation design uh, appropriately. All right. So if you navigate back to the uh, display tab and then you check any uh, individual interrogations you navigate to this uh, design statutes click on ok you can see that the whole of the structure is almost green okay the structural member vertical members as well as the beams okay they are all now green so everything has passed analysis and design except this lab we have never designed this lab we have never designed the foundation beam and the foundation the rough slab at the foundation level so we now have to navigate to the visual interrogations and then we navigate to none and click on the OK options, all right? So this is what you have to do before you carry out your foundation design. Very, very significant in the design of a, a building and other structures when it comes to the user of putter structure software. This uh, version of software is a very smart uh, version release, all right? So uh, it is quite very good. The uh, calculations, everything is accurate uh, with precision, honestly. So we are going to uh, stop here for now. And then let's, let's say we proceed to design the foundation using final element analysis. Remember, we always do it the best way. All right. Stay tuned. Like the lesson. If you have any comment, drop it at the comment sections. Subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel. Once again, I am Soft Raising. Bye for now.